New lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs bringing some serious claims against the music mogul brought by his former longtime girlfriend. One of the times she left, she actually had a, a brief relationship with Kid Cudi. When Diddy found out, he allegedly beat her, threatened to blow up Kid Cudi's car. Explosive revelations in Tinseltown. Kid Cudi backs Cassie's shocking lawsuit against Diddy, confirming a tale of jealousy, threats, and a car going kaboom. Did Diddy really play with fire over a romantic rivalry? Tune in for the celebrity drama unraveling. She claimed when she tried to uh, leave Diddy in 2017, he forced himself into her apartment and uh, raped her. Jesus Christ. Wow. As the curtain rises on another chapter of Tinseltown Scandal, we delve deeper into the sensational allegations swirling around seeing Diddy Combs and his star-crossed relationships with Cassie and Kid Cutie. In a stunning twist to the drama, Kid Cutie has confirmed Cassie's harrowing accusations, adding his own narrative of threats and violence that paint a picture of a romantic rivalry turned sinister. At the heart of his controversy is the explosive claim that Diddy, driven by jealousy and rage, threatened and then carried out an act of alarming violence, blowing up Kid Cudi's car. Uh, the filing then says shortly after Diddy's threat, Kid Cudi's car actually blew up and Kid Cudi confirmed it. Cassie, born Cassandra Ventura, in her bombshell lawsuit paints a disturbing portrait of her relationship with Diddy. She accuses him of trapping her in a substance, fueled nightmare characterized by physical abuse. Her allegations include forced sexual encounters with male sex workers, recorded by Diddy, and brutal assaults witnessed in silent horror by his employees too fearful to intervene. So oh, she claims she did try to leave several times, but Diddy would always send his team to find her, track her down, bring her back, under the basis that her career would be ruined if she left. This lawsuit, filed in the federal district court in Manhattan, details a pattern of control and abuse starting from their first meeting in 2005. The allegations culminate in a chilling incident in 2018, where Combs is said to have forced his way into Ventura's home and assaulted her. These accusations are not just a personal vendetta, but paint a broader picture of a woman struggling to break free from an abusive and controlling relationship. The saga takes a darker turn with the revelation of Kid Cudi's involvement. Known formally as Scott Raman Siguro Mascuti, Kid Kudai entered the picture during a break in Cassie's relationship with Diddy. Their brief romance, however, was not taken lightly by Diddy. According to the lawsuit, Diddy's discovery of this fling during Paris Fashion Week in 2012 sent him into a rage culminating in the alleged explosive act against Kid Cudi's car. Kid right. Cudi confirmed it? That the car blew up. That, re that really happens in real life? You'll be blowing up cars? Kid Cutie, a renowned figure in the music world, known for his hits like Day and Night, has added his voice to Cassie's, affirming the truth of her claims. His confirmation, along with social media reactions, suggests that this story has been whispered about in industry circles for years, but only now is seeing the light of day. In this unfolding saga, Kid Cutie's corroborations add chilling layers to the already dark narrative. He described witnessing firsthand the violent and aggressive behavior of Diddy towards Cassie. According to Kid Cutie, Cassie found solace in him, fleeing Diddy's wrath. This refuge, however, was short-lived. Kid Cutie's revelations extend beyond mere witness. He shared that Diddy, in a display of unbridled aggression, directly threatened him with violence. This intimidation, aimed at severing the bond between Cassie and Kid Cutie, cast a sinister shadow over the entire affair. The threat to Kid Cutie's safety escalated to a terrifying crescendo with Diddy's alleged declaration to blow up Kid Cutie's car. This act, as claimed, wasn't just a message. It was a declaration of Diddy's willingness to cross boundaries in asserting control and dominance. The portrayal of Diddy in these accounts as an extremely violent psychopath stands in stark contrast to his public persona. She also accused Diddy of dangling one of her friends over a balcony on the 17th floor of a hotel and claimed when she tried to leave him Very in 27... Yeah. This dichotomy between the public image and private actions, if true, reveals a deeply disturbing pattern of behavior. The testimonies of Cassie and Kid Cootie, bolstered by the physical evidence of a car explosion, form a narrative fraught with fear, control, and violence. As we weave through this complex narrative, it's crucial to note Diddy's vehement denial of these allegations. The 35-page suit lays out graphic allegations, all of which, through his attorney, he denies. His attorney, Benjamin Braffman, has dismissed the claims as offensive and outrageous, framing them as an attempt at extortion and a bid for a payday. This counter-narrative, asserting that Cassie's lawsuit is nothing but a smear campaign fueled by financial motives, adds another layer of complexity to an already convoluted tale. Amidst the unfolding drama surrounding Diddy, another prominent figure in the hip-hop industry, 50 Cent, has voiced his perspective on the scandal. Known for his no-holds, barred approach, 50 Cent's comments add a new layer of complexity to the already intricate situation. His reaction, delivered in his signature blunt style, reflects not only on the current allegations, but also revives past conflicts and controversies involving Diddy, 
On November 16, the same day Cassie filed her lawsuit, 50 Cent took to Twitter to express his thoughts. He wrote, damn brother love, brother love, brother love, you out here looking crazy, accompanied by a photo of himself. This statement, while not directly addressing the specifics of the allegations, makes clear 50 Cent's stance on the situation and his disbelief at the unfolding events. 50 Cent's history of jabs at Diddy is well documented, often marked by a mix of humor and pointed critique. In a video from a recent concert, he commented on Diddy's party saying, nah, uh, that guy hug you from the front and the back at the same time. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. I think I belong in the girl's bathroom. This anecdote, while seemingly lighthearted, hints at a deeper discomfort and skepticism that 50 Cent holds towards Diddy. The conflict between 50 Cent and Diddy extends beyond personal jibes to include serious accusations, like those involving Dwayne Keefe D. Davis, the former Crip leader implicated in Tupac's assassination. 50 Cent has criticized Diddy for his alleged relationship with Davis, exemplified by an Instagram post in which he shared an excerpt of a Keefe D interview. In the interview, Keefe D criticizes Diddy, claiming that he never received any financial support from him. 50 Cent's caption, El Mayo, brother love show some love. Damn should have just sent this fool a few dollars underscores his criticism of Diddy's alleged lack of support for those connected to him. This renewed focus on Diddy's alleged involvement in Tupac's assassination adds another layer to the already complex narrative of Diddy's controversial past and present. The origins of Diddy's connection to the Tupac assassination trace back to the height of the height of the East Coast-West Coast rivalry in the mid-90s. Diddy's Bad Boy Records and Suge Knight's Death Row Records were at the epicenter of this feud, with their respective artists, the notorious B.I.G., and Tupac becoming symbols of this bitter conflict. Both artists were tragically assassinated in drive-by shootings, and their assassinations have remained unsolved, fueling speculation and conspiracy theories for decades. Recent developments have brought this issue back into the spotlight. The arrest of Dwayne Keefe D. Davis, a former Southside Compton Crip who has openly discussed his presence at the scene of Tupac's shooting, has reignited interest in the case. Tupac had already attacked Orlando Anderson. They'd had a previous beef. In his 2019 memoir and various interviews, Keefe D. has implicated Diddy in the assassination, claiming that Diddy offered him money to assassinate Tupac and Suge Knight. These allegations were first publicized in former lap detective Greg Cady's book, which detailed confessions from key figures in both Tupac and Biggie's deaths. All these years later, we finally find out that it was Orlando Anderson who pulled the trigger, Keefe D who gave him the gun and, and, and set it up, and P. Diddy who paid them. Done. Diddy has consistently denied these allegations, dismissing them as pure fiction and completely ridiculous. However, the persistence of these claims, particularly in the hip-hop community, has kept the story alive. Rappers like Eminem and 50 Cent have referenced Diddy's alleged involvement in their music and public statements, often in a provocative manner. The complexity of the situation is further compounded by the legal and investigative challenges surrounding the case. As former Detective Kane points out, the likelihood of Diddy being charged with Tupac's assassination is slim, given the need for credible and substantiating witnesses. Kading's perspective suggests a nuanced understanding of the situation, differentiating between rumors and the realities of legal prosecution. In the context of the ongoing allegations against Diddy, including the recent lawsuit filed by Cassie and the confirmation of these claims by Kid Cutie, the resurfacing of the Tupac assassination case adds to the growing scrutiny of Diddy's actions and character. The accumulation of these allegations in the historical context of Diddy's alleged involvement in Tupac's assassination could be seen as a tipping point, potentially altering public perception and the trajectory of Diddy's career. So he got to look good going into it, because right now, in the public's eye, he don't look that good, bro. As we continue to navigate this evolving story, it's clear that the legacy and impact of Tupac's assassination remain significant in shaping the narratives around key figures in the hip-hop industry. The interplay of past and present scandals surrounding Diddy creates a complex and multifaceted portrait of a figure who has been both celebrated and criticized in the public eye. This ongoing saga not only reflects the enduring nature of certain controversies in the music world, but also underscores the intricate web of relationships, rivalries, and reputations that define the industry. Public opinion on this unfolding saga is as varied and impassioned as the allegations themselves. Fans and followers of the involved celebrities have taken to social media to express their views, offering a window into the broader societal reaction to these explosive claims. One fan, reflecting a sentiment of justice and accountability, commented, I hope other victims still come out and the state takes up the case so he goes down further. He can't just get away with this. Another comment focused on the resilience and strength of the alleged victims, particularly Cassie. A fan noted, Cassie was the last person Diddy thought would talk. He thought he thought he broke her, but what did not break her made her stronger. I hope his other victims also have the courage to come forward. The general consensus among the public appears to be a mix of shock, support for the alleged victims, and a call for justice. While some fans express skepticism, the dominant tone is one of concern and solidarity with those who have come forward. 
The reactions also reveal a broader commentary on celebrity culture and the power dynamics within the entertainment industry. As we wrap up another whirlwind chapter in the saga of celebrity gossip, we turn to you, our audience, to weigh in on these sensational developments. What's your take on the allegations against Diddy? Is this a case of a public image starkly contrasting private actions? Or is there more to the story than meets the eye? We eagerly await your thoughts and theories in the comments below. Farewell and stay tuned for more from the world of glitz and glamour 